Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Gardwell. And we're back today with a brand new video. Uh, it is with Green and White and our boy Arla. We're back to uh, the Stranger Rulers for a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna switch back and forth between the rulers. We're not sure what we want to do, but yeah. we're just showing different decks. I might, I might work out with some of the new cards and mix with them, see how it works. Uh, and this deck name is called the Skyward Crest, and it is a super fun deck. It's just it's about the crests, and it's like a green white controlled deck. It's got a little bit of blue, but it, meh, meh, it's minute. Um, but before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to give us some extra love and support. We'd greatly appreciate it. Also down below, you'll find our FOW Grimoire app. It is uh, our app that we made for the Force Will uh, TCG game, and it's it's a really Solid. good deck builder slash database. You just if you need if you're out on the go and you're bored and you're like I need to make a deck, or if you have a deck idea just randomly there, you're like cool. Let me do this. You can put it in your phone right there. Easy enough. With that, guys, let's delve into the Skyward Crest. So, like I said, our boy Arla is the ruler, and he's got Stranger 10 and Judgments for a white, green, and green, and energizes a white and a green. Um, when a light Regalia enters the field under your control, you choose one. If the Regalia is Wings of the Archangel, you choose up to two instead. Choose two cards from a Stranger deck at random, remove from the game. Up to two target resonators will gain flying and plus two plus two. Draw a card for each resonator with flying, or pay zero for his judgment. So easy enough. Most of the time in this deck, you're gonna re want to remove strangers because that's how Arla just wins yeah, easily. Exactly. Um, when he judgments, he's a 10-10, and enter. Put the top card of your Magic Stone deck into the field. Choose a card from a stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. And then God's Art is Rise of Armala, which is two white and two green. Put any number of light or wind resonators, <clears throat> stranger resonators removed, into play. And then. Uh, when you don't control a stranger resonator, you lose the game. So that's the only downfall of him, is once you use his God's Art, if they kill all of your dudes, then you lose. Yep, it's but just like that. With the new cards, uh, there's <coughs> plenty of ways to stop that for sure. Yeah. All right. First up on his strangers is the Will of the Wisp. It is a white and a green for a zero ten quick cast barrier. Enter, draw a card, pay zero, return this card to its owner's hand. Just know that that still triggers if like you have that if you don't control him then you lose so just don't be wary of when you're bouncing yeah yeah don't make him be the last one i yeah. bounced to draw oh <laughs> yeah uh next is valkyrie the weaver of destiny she's three white for a 10 14 with flying enter remove two target non j ruler non stone non magic stone entities from the game when this card leaves the field put those back into play so you get to remove things to protect you and get a free dude super powerful uh, Honer the Bishop God, he is a white and a black for 7-8. Your opponent cannot play spells during your turn. Your opponent banishes a non j ruler entity, non-Magic Stone entity on play. Yep. So he's part of the reason that you get to survive that because you're like, cool, don't do spells on my turn to kill my things. Yep. <clears throat> End of their turn, bring them down and hopefully, and then on your turn they can't do anything. Uh, next is Guardian of Outland. He is two green and a red for a 0-20. Enter, put the top stone of your magic deck into the field rested. And then he gets, during the beginning of your turn, this card's attack becomes its defense until the end of turn. So he helps you kill easily because you're like, cool, take 20. Yep, simple as that. Uh, green Wizard, one green for a 6-6. Six, six. Enter, choose a race. J Resonators of that chosen race get in Barrier. Pay a green, target J Resonator gets plus 2, plus 2. So helps you to just get Barrier on one of your dudes or multiple of your dudes. Uh, Athenia, the Wind Master, is a one green for a 6-6. Six, six. Enter. Put up to two cards in any removed area from the, into their owner's graveyard. When this card is put into a graveyard from the field, pay a green. Choose a stranger from your random and put it in your hand. Vanish this card, target stranger or regalia against barrier. That's why you're using her to keep your dudes alive. Yeah. Artemis, the goddess of hunt. Two white and two green for a 10-10 swiftness first strike. Uh, pay a white, target into you control gains barrier. Pay a white and a green, resonators get plus two plus two. Pay two white and a green, remove two target resonator from the game. Just simple, powerful stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mostly it's a 10-10 swiftness, but it has the other abilities to get there. Um, Ares, the Night God Emperor. He is two white for a 10-6 with, with Eternal and Precision, which is what makes him strong for this because he's hard to kill. Yep. And you want that because when you don't have a stranger, you lose. Yep. Uh, Apollon, the God of Light. He is two white and two for a 14-17 Pierce. If damage will be dealt to you, it's dealt to him instead. And when this card is put into the graveyard from the field, remove it from the game. If you do, your life becomes 40. Which is amazing. Reset. Super powerful. Uh, and the last guy we have is Amphisbana, the two-headed dragon. He is a two green for a 6-12 uh, with flying and pierce. Pay a green until the end of turn. This card would deal damage. It deals double damage instead. 
he's there to help you win because you're like cool if that dude's big you're just like cool pay green double damage and Let's then go. with the wizard you can pump him up and all that fun stuff to do all the damage now our first resonator slash champ is actually a split card it's flute captain dragonoid or and the group of comments so the first part of course is resonator barrier it's a one four for one tap produce a white and then you can also tap and put a one counter on another entity you control and then with the chant part destroy all j resonators with no one one counters on them so there you go next is elixir the crest researcher slash research results elixir is a one drop four four for green uh, enter, search your deck for a magic stone or a magic crest and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck, pay a green, put a magic crest from your hand into play. So you easily get to go get the three drop green one to have a free stone earlier. Yeah. Uh, or you can pay one green or two green for research results, which is a chant. Look at the top five of your deck. You may reveal up to two non resonators from them and put them in your hand. So helps you dig to get more spells, which is what you need. Yep, yeah, exactly. Uh, Salmaria and also the split <clears throat> card of. Well, Dance of Spirits. So the first one is a two white five ten resonator, which is ridiculous for two. It has flying as well. You can tap remove X one encounters on this card. Put a zero zero light uh, spirit resonator with flying with X one one counters on it. Or what you're gonna really use it for is the chant is, is your opponents cannot play spells this turn until end of turn, pretty much. So just at the, oh you draw, don't play spells. Thanks. This card's so good because if they ridiculous. don't have an instant, then they can't play anything. Yeah. And you just don't, you don't care because you're like, cool, don't do anything. Don't do anything. I gods are, I have dudes. My turn. You can't do anything because I have the stranger that says you can't do anything on my turn. Yeah. And hopefully you just win by that turn. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Yeah. Uh, next is Altasing, Mischief Boy, and a Glimpse of Prodigy. So Altasing is a two drop, five, seven for quick cast, enter. Prevent all damage will be dealt by target J slash resonator until the turn. Pay a green, return this. And then cards called a glimpse of the prodigy cost two green less to play. And then that is a three green cancel target spell or automatic ability. But with you bounce him, it costs one green. And if you do it multiple times by playing him and bouncing him again, it costs three. Yep. And you're just like, cool, counter your spell that you're going to kill my stuff with. So it, he helps protect your stuff really well. And with that, uh, because it is a control deck, that's all the dudes that we have. So we go to the spells. We have the first edition, the Magic Crest of Water. So one blue, when this card enters the field, draw a card. Simple as that. Uh, Magic Crest of Light, which is one white. When it enters the field, put four counters on up to four target resonators. So just yeah. to help you. Uh, Magic Crest of Wind, which is a green and a two or one in tap. Uh, when this card enters the field, put the top card of your Magic Stone on the, on the field, which is nice. Uh, crystallization, one white quick cast sword art. Uh, destroy target resonators, control against a thousand. If this card is awakened, you remove a stranger from your stranger deck at random. Yeah. And it's a green to awaken it. You don't really care if they're going to gain a thousand because you're going to have 10 dudes to kill them with. So yeah. It doesn't really matter. Exactly. You're going to be hitting me in one big shot, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> of course, we have Wings of the Arching Archangel. Archangel. It's a green and a white mythic uh, regalia. Your J Roller gains flying. But you can tap, produce two new wills, a combination of uh, white and green. Spin this only play God's Arts, Sword Arts, and Angels. Uh, Awakening of the Winged Lord is the white and a green quick cast Sword Art. Choose one, recover up to two resonators with flying. Look, up to, look at the top four cards of your deck. Put a non-chant with total cost two or less from among them into play. Uh, where is it? Choose a ran random stranger and then remove it from the game and you gain life equal to its attack. That's a lot of what you're going to do for this deck because you yeah. want to help fuel that. But you can get most of the dudes. Well, you can't actually get the dudes because they have come in a cost of three or five because of the spell, the way yeah. they work. But it helps you get those and it recovers some of your dudes. Yeah, and it help you survive and gain all that life. Uh, also to help you is Earthly <clears throat> Flash. It's green and a white quick cast uh, sword art. Choose one. Cancel target resonator spell with total cost three or less, or destroy target resonator with flying. Yeah, that's what you need. And then Starlit Canopy is two white for an addition. Enter, remove target non magic stone, non jerable entity your opponent controls three or less from the game. Ridiculous. And then if he gets a counter on it, you draw a card. For each time you put a counter on it, you draw a card. So with Flute, you're just like, cool. After it's come into play and remove something that they can't get back. Yeah, literally. You're just, just like, cool, put a counter on it, draw a card. It's, it's nice. Of course, next was Return of the Soul. It's three white and one. Destroy all non-stranger resonators. If need be, if you need to win more and they have blockers, then you just do this and then swing with your res uh, strangers. Yeah. And win you win. Or if you need to protect yourself, you can kill everything. Exactly. 
Uh, that is it for the deck. The stones are really simple. We have Magic Stone of Light Vapor, Magic Stone of Gusting Skies, and then Adiractus Memoria because we're playing a dual stone ruler. So why not? You get to have free dual stones. Exactly. Um, the deck's super fun. It's just going to be control. I mean, it's, it's what it is. Yep. But thank you guys for joining us. The deck list will be down below. Go check it out, and we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.